flammable vapor sensors are necessary on power vent and water heaters. But here's a cool hack on how you can get a tripped flammable vapor sensor to work again in a temporary setting. Now, caution, a flammable vapor sensor is a safety device and it is a limit switch and you should never bypass a limit switch as a permanent solution. But there are times that the switch is faulty and a bypass can get someone hot water while you wait for a part to come in. But before doing this, I would certainly determine whether it was actually a flammable vapor that caused the sensor to trip, like a gasoline spill or other chemicals. If you take off the flammable vapor sensor and you pull back the plastic that covers the sensor film, the sensor film is just a carbon and silicone mixture that they put over the sensor. This mixture has enough silicone and carbon that the carbon particles still conduct electricity but at a high resistance. When the sensor is exposed to flammable vapors, the silicone expands and pulls the carbon particles apart, which increases the resistance. When that resistance gets over that 50 kilo ohm threshold, it tells the gas valve to shut off. So if you clean the sensor film off of the plastic, you can then restore continuity with something that conducts electricity, but still has a high resistance. Graphite is perfect. So grab a pencil and hook up the leads to your voltmeter and start applying carbon just by drawing across the contact. If you watch your voltmeter, you can see that the resistance starts really high. And as you apply more material, you're increasing the continuity and decreasing resistance. And what you're looking for is getting that resistance under that 50 kilo ohm threshold. Once you get under that 50 kilo ohms, reinstall the flammable vapor sensor and reset the gas valve. On this particular gas valve, start with the gas valve in the off position, turn it on, and then take the thermostat and turn it all the way down and all the way up five times. Some models require seven times. You'll know that it was successfully reset when you hear the inducer fan kick on and then listen for the burners to ignite. Again, this is a very temporary solution to restore someone hot water. Flammable vapor sensors are definitely necessary. Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully you understand better how flammable sensors work.